One, two, three, four. What's up you guys, it's Vinsanity and welcome to another training at home series. Today, we're gonna be training on our shuffles, get, making sure that we are comfortable with them, making sure that we can execute them and making sure that we are holding ourselves accountable to practicing them. Those of you who are part of my weekly beginner breaking class, we recently learned about doing basic shuffles and our homework was to actually practice the shuffles. So today we're gonna to be practicing the shuffles together. If you guys are interested in more help with your breaking, make sure you guys hop in to my weekly beginner breaking class, my weekly intermediate breaking class, or my monthly master class. All right, without further ado, let's get down to the floor. All right, you guys, so today we're gonna to be training with the assumption that you don't have a lot of space. For today's drill, we're gonna simply be adding some movement to our shuffles, moving forward and backwards. And again, I understand that a lot of us don't have that much space, so we're gonna utilize it the best that we can, okay? For me, I have about, let's say about 10 feet from here to there, and I'm gonna be traveling going forward and backwards doing my shuffles. I'm gonna do them in a controlled manner, meaning I'm not gonna break this glass or knock over this table or the camera, right? And I'm also gonna be aware of how my feet are on the ground, right? Making sure I'm not like, super heavy with my feet, okay? So the drill is, we go to our shuffle position. We are gonna do shuffles moving forward, right? Going one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna go backwards. One, two, three, four. And the cool part about shuffles is you can control how big or how small they are. So if you have more space, you can do them really big, right? And move really fast. Or if you don't have that much space, you could do them really small, right? And don't cover that much space, right? So we're gonna do this 10 times across and back together. And then you guys are gonna do an additional 10 on your own, okay? Here we go, first one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's five, all right? On the fifth one, we're gonna switch sides. Going here, moving forward, and back. If any of this information is foreign to you, make sure you guys check out my shuffle tutorials, or better yet, check out my second class of my weekly beginner breaking class where we work on shuffles. Okay, here we go. First set of our second side. Ready? We go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. That's two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's four. Last one. Let's try to be as quiet as possible. Here we go. Nice job, you guys. Now, once you're done watching this video, I want you to rest your fingers and do this whole drill one more time. Start to get comfortable with your shuffles so you can utilize them in your dancing. Thank you guys for training with me today. And if you guys are interested in more help, again, make sure you guys hop into my weekly beginner breaking classes or my weekly intermediate classes on Patreon, all right? If you guys can, please do me a favor by pressing like, leaving a comment about what you wanna see next, and sharing this video with a friend. All right, hope you guys are doing well, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.